Well, what else pairs well with Valentine's Day? Pairs do. Wendy Barrett joins us now with some ideas. Great to see you yes. again. I think it's been like forever since we had you in studio. Oh since my God, studio. What's, studio. A stu what's a studio? What's a studio? I know. <laughs> <laughs> But you always come up with, like, I love pears on their own, but the way you cook with them and bake with them, it just brings a whole level of deliciousness. Well, thank you. You know, it was a quick flight to get here today, so that was good. <laughs> so what do you have? So a um, couple of things. Most important thing is ripeness of pears. That's so important. So what you do is you want to take your thumb and your index finger, and if it gives a little bit, it's ripe. So we'll see if this one's right. And of course, you don't this want to be doing that at the grocery store, right? Because you. Well, no, I would buy the very good point. Buy them firm at the grocery store. So this one doesn't really have as much give. This is a Bartlett. Okay. So let's just see. This is the only pair that's going to change color as it ripens. Originally, it's very green. And then as it ripens at room temperature, it turns to yellow. So let's see. Oh. Oh. That's not ready. Not ready. So That's a good see. test. Of how you know. That's too underripe. So this buzz. This one. Oh yeah. Whoa, 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 oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. Set problem. <laughs> Let me just fix this. By the way, happy Valentine's happy Day. Happy Valentine's so you Day can to you see too, Wendy. <laughs> this one very good to go when you're not ready to eat your pear. Just put it in the fridge. So today uh, we are making chocolate dip pears and uh, I used a variety I used a uh, yellow Bartlett um, I didn't use a boss because the brown doesn't show up very well and, and the green on you because it's a nice color but the red on you especially for Valentine's Day takes the cake so what I'm going to do first is just take my peeler and what you want to do is peel put them in the fridge first it's going to be a little bit easier to work with them. It's a little bit finicky, this recipe, but the more I fiddle with it, the easier it got. So what you're going to do is just peel this part, the bottom part, so we're going to do that, and try to get as clean a line as we can. Oh, this is a nice, I can see the juice. It's already coming from this red on the juice. So, you know, you can get a nice clean line, that's for sure. So, so you want a clean line at the top then? So everything looks at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, at the bottom, because you want to peel the firmest part, uh, the widest part of the pear. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do now is just take a, my pear slicer, take this right here, and I'm going to slice. This is going to go into eight pieces. The recipe says 16, but I prefer uh, using larger pieces but it's really up to you so i've got chocolate here this is dark chocolate uh 70 percent which is lovely so use the whole bar uh cut it up first as fine as you can and then what you're going to do is put about half of a, a quarter cup of milk or cream heat that and then add the chocolate and you're going to wish it really fast this is one of those kind of fast recipes so here is my melted chocolate so what I'm going to do is put it on the side that's cut. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, you know, fooled around with this quite a bit. Um, but a spatula is the best. And then we've got all these different toppings. So this is a nice little pistachio nut topping. So you don't want to dip it then? You just want to cover it with I a... think dipping it is difficult. Um, okay. After fooling around with it quite a bit. So this was the best tool that uh, that we came up with. This is a, you know, it's it's good. And then what you're going to do, once you've got all these little pretty little toppings on, you're going to put it in the fridge, and it's going to set. So this is a little bit messy here. Okay. And it's is there anything you should do to, uh, to stop the pear um, flesh from yellowing? Like Very good. Okay. We fooled around with this, too. This is the best. Just get some lemon, lemon juice. juice that's in one of these little squirt things and just put it on the fleshy part where it's peeled and it should work just 100%. Okay. Wendy, those look delicious. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day to you. We'll get the recipe up on chch.com. Here we oh, go. That looks nice. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>